happy to have you with us. We recognize that you are a gift of the Church through our Holy Father, Pope Francis, to our local Church. We have been praying for a shepherd for the past 15 trying months. At last, our prayers have been answered and you are now with us. I express the sentiments of joyous welcome of the Archdiocese, the clergy, the consecrated people, and the lay faithful. Brothers and sisters in Christ, one and all, today is truly a day of great joy, an historic day, a day in which we have celebrated the right canonical possession and the installation of the 33rd Archbishop of Manila, His Eminence Jose Cardinal Advincula. God's mysterious design has made this moment truly marvelous as an event of great historic significance for the Catholic Church in the Philippines. I could see three reasons why. First, as we celebrate the year of Saint Joseph, God has called yours truly a clueless Jose from Capis to be the ninth Filipino Cardinal. Who would have thought? We all did not see it coming. Personally, I find it providential because I have a special devotion to Saint Joseph. The second reason why it is historically, historically significant as we celebrate the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, God has given me to the Archdiocese of Manila as its new shepherd. Clearly, Mission Agentes sends me off with a mission. You are gifted to give. What could be more challenging than that? The third reason for this very day when I am installed as Archbishop of Manila, we are celebrating the founding of the city of Manila four centuries and a half ago. See how significantly historic this day is for us in the church as Filipinos and particularly as Manilenos. As fruit of my prayer and discernment, I draw inspiration especially from the personal encounter of Simon Peter with the Lord when Jesus asked him three times, Do you love me? Peter replied, Yes, Lord, for three times. Only after that, after that total and unconditional commitment to love, did Jesus our Lord empower Peter by saying, Feed my sheep. I cannot feed my flock unless I listen first to their needs, their longings. While listening to them, I would be able to journey with them in their sorrow and joy in their suffering and glory and work with them to bring them closer to Christ. I am now 69 years old. 
At the twilight of my ministry, I thought I was old. I was that old to be transferred to another diocese. I was hoping to spend my remaining years in the Archdiocese of Capiz, close to my family and fellow Capiseños. But in a mysterious fashion, God has called me to get away from my comfort zone and serve Him in a manner far beyond my expectations. And it demands of me a lot more than I can get if I am to shepherd his flock after his own heart.